How is it going, Data Bices? No Data here, and welcome back to another episode of Roblox Assassin. We have been waiting a very, very long time. We have been doing nothing but waiting. We have been waiting for a huge update. There wasn't really anything huge. Like, we had the summer events, but, you know, nobody really cared about that anymore. And then the Beam Core came out in the Elite case, and nobody really cared about that anymore. So we were kind of just waiting for an update. And ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to say that there is finally a brand new Assassin update. The summer update for Roblox Assassin is finally here. And this is an absolutely huge update, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely huge. There is so much to this update. This update is absolutely insane. This is pretty much the summer update of this year. You know, in June 2018, we had a huge summer update. I would consider that this is the brand new summer update for this year. It is absolutely huge, guys. It came completely out of the blue. Nobody was expecting it. And suddenly, you know, pretty much the whole game changed. It's insane. The crafting is pretty much completely different. Pretty much all the recipes have changed. And yeah, in this video, we are going to go over the update entirely. We are going to talk about every single crafting recipe that changed. And we are going to craft some brand new knives. If you guys are excited for this episode of Assassin, then be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps out a whole lot. Also, guys, if you're new, be sure to subscribe because once we hit 90,000 subscribers, we are going to give away a free Glorious Axe. So that is right, guys, a free Glorious Axe. Be sure to subscribe so that you are notified about that. Also, I was going to end the Wind Elemental giveaway, but because of this huge update, I'm going to extend it a little bit longer. So if you want to enter the Wind Elemental giveaway, be sure to subscribe, click the bell, and then click the I in the top right corner. Do what that video says. You will automatically be entered into the current Wind Elemental giveaway that is going on right now. Anyway, guys, let's talk about everything that came out in this update. Because again, this update is huge. It's going to take a very, very long time to go through everything. But I'm just going to say everything right now so that you guys know everything that has changed. First and foremost, competitive mode is back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we are now currently having a competitive season. Now, we did not have one for July, which was kind of disappointing because Prisman was sort of, you know, consecutively doing competitive seasons. And unfortunately, uh, he did not get competitive mode for July. But it is now August and competitive mode is back with some brand new prizes. So you guys already know how comp works. You play in competitive mode, you will get some comp points and those comp points will give you some prizes. So at 50 points, you get a brand new rare called the Super Sugar. At 500 points, you get 1,250 tokens. And at 1,000 points, you get a brand new exotic called the Fire Feather. And of course, as you can see right here, there is a leaderboard. So if you're in the top 100 by the end of the season, you will get a glorious axe. And if you end up in the top 10, you will get the Void Champion. This is currently the rarest knife in the game. There's only 10 of them so far. And after this season, there's going to be 20 of them. So this is currently the rarest knife in the game. And you guys know that champion weapons are very valuable. So, you know, very hard to grind for. Also, guys, if you're in the top 10 by the end of the season, you will get a personal shout out from me. So I'm actually going to be on vacation for all of next week. So I'm really not going to be grinding for top 10 or top 100. So I'm not really going to be getting any leaderboard prizes, but I will be getting the fire feather. So, you know, look forward to a video on that. Ladies and gentlemen, the clan prizes have changed. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. The top 25 clan prize and the top 10 clan prize are changed. This here is Diamond Tier 2, and this right here is Onyx Tier 2. So if you are in a clan and you end up on the leaderboard, you will get some brand new prizes. I don't think my clan is really going to go for Onyx Tier 2 in this season, but in a couple of weeks, we will definitely do an Onyx Tier 2 grind. So that is awesome. We are going to be getting this brand new Mythic soon enough, and we are going to try it out in battle. Sadly, it doesn't seem like Onyx Tier 1 or Diamond Tier 1 are tradable. Nope, as you can see, they are not tradable whatsoever, which is kind of a shame, but it is what it is. Hopefully, those become tradable very soon. And there is also a brand new map called The Mine. This is once again from Strasta, so that's pretty cool. We have another map from Strasta. He very recently made the Warehouse version 2, and, you know, here he is again with The Mine. So this seems to be a pretty cool map. You have a lot of twists and turns, as you can see. I'm not going to take a full tour on this map because there is just so much to talk about in this update. But yeah, there is a brand new map 
Um, we're not quite sure what map got rotated out. Because, you know, usually when a map gets added, another one gets removed. So, I don't know which map was removed. Hopefully, it was Volcano Base because that map was not very good. Hopefully, Volcano Base is removed. But, yeah, there is a brand new map called The Mine. So, check it out. Seems pretty cool. I'm kind of just walking around it right now. Got a bunch of cool stuff here and it is absolutely cool. It is just so much fun to walk around. I keep going into here thinking it's a tunnel, but unfortunately it is not, so I kind of just end up getting bamboozled. But um, yeah, be sure to check this map out for yourself. If you want to explore this map, feel free to. I'm kind of just, you know, taking a small glance at it at the moment. Seems pretty cool so far. So yeah, be sure to check out that map. And now let's talk about the case exotics, guys, because some exotics were actually removed and some exotics were added back in. Dark Claw, Misfortune, Paladin, Archangel, and Ice Dagger are removed from the cases, ladies and gentlemen. If you look at the cases, you will see that they are nowhere to be found. Now, that doesn't mean that they are unobtainable. Keep that in mind. That doesn't mean they are unobtainable. In fact, you can still craft them with six legendaries. And I do not have six legendaries at the moment, so I can't really show them. Those knives are presumably not completely unobtainable. You can still get them by crafting six legendaries, which, you know, you can get some legendaries from the Elite case. And then you can craft six legendaries together, get an exotic, and it seems like you could probably still get those knives. So Dark Claw, Misfortune, Paladin, Archangel, Ice Dagger. You can still get those by crafting with legendaries. So do not panic. They are not in the cases anymore, but you can still get them so don't worry too much about that the dark blade has returned to the elite case and the ice lord has returned to the sturdy case these were previously only craftable with legendaries you were not able to unbox them you could only craft them with legendaries or you could unbox them from the polish case but that's extremely unlikely so yeah dark blade and ice lord are back in the cases and unfortunately proton is nowhere to be found rest in peace Proton is not there at all. People are kind of mad about that because everyone was kind of waiting for the day that Proton was going to return to the Elite case and it's nowhere to be found. Um, you can still get Proton with legendaries, you know, crafting legendaries. You can still craft Proton, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, people are pretty upset that Dark Blade and Ice Lord are unboxable again, but not Proton. So yeah, rest in peace to Proton, I guess. But you can still craft it with Legendary, so it's not too bad. Anyway, yeah, guys, let's get into the crafting, because the crafting is the huge part of this update. There are some brand new recipes, and a lot of old ones have changed. So first, I'm going to talk about the changed crafting recipes, and then I'm going to talk about the new crafting recipes. The Rainbow Saber is now slightly easier to craft. Before, it was Elegant Saber, Starlight, and Unicorn, but now it is a Rainbow instead of a Unicorn, so it's a little bit easier to craft. Not really. It's just a Dark Blade less. It's, it's one exotic less, so it's not a huge deal, but yeah, the Rainbow Saber is slightly easier to craft. The Steampunk is also slightly easier to craft. Before, it was two Strikers and three Protons, but now it is only one Striker and three Protons. So yeah, Steampunk is slightly easier to craft. So, you know, if you, if you didn't have a Striker, then, you know, go nuts. You can get Steampunk a little bit easier. The Void is now a Mythic, and the crafting recipe is easier. Before this update, the Void was a Dream Knife. When the Void first came out, the recipe was Wrath, Dark Claw, and Bandit. And then it got a little bit harder. It became two Wraths, and then Dark Claw and Bandit. But now, the Void is a Mythic, and it is a lot easier to craft. You only need one Wrath and one Bandit. You don't need Dark Claw at all. So yeah, the Void is a lot easier to craft, and it is a Mythic. So that is pretty cool. The Demon Heart is now significantly harder to craft. When Demon Heart first came out, it was super easy to craft. All you needed was one Cosmic Eye and then a Ruby and a Misfortune. And then around February, it became a little bit harder to craft the Demon Heart. You needed two Cosmic Eyes and then Ruby and Misfortune. But now the Demon Heart is a lot harder to craft. You need a Cosmic Eye, a Void, and a Misfortune. So you need two Mythics now. So yeah, Demon Heart is a lot harder to craft. Not only that, but Demon Heart is also useful for crafting, so you will see that in a little bit. The crafting recipe for Fang is slightly easier. Before, it was Spider and two Doombringers, but now it is just Spider and one Dark Claw. So yeah, Fang is a little bit easier to craft. The Runic Blade is now a dream, and the crafting recipe for Runic Blade has changed. Now, before this update, the Runic Blade was a Mythic, 
And in order to craft it, you need a Dark Age, Dark Claw, Crescendo, Pharaoh, and Ancient Steel. But the Runic Blade is now a dream. And in order to craft it, you need the Void, which is now a Mythic, and the Dark Age, and an Ancient Steel. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, a crafting recipe has been removed. That is right, guys. The Rainbow Seer is now officially unobtainable, and from here on out, we'll start going up in the future. That is right, guys. You can no longer craft Rainbow Seer, so it is going to start going up in value because you cannot craft it anymore. So, yeah, do keep that in mind. You cannot craft the Rainbow Seer anymore. You have to trade for it. And that is all for the crafting changes. However, there are some brand new crafting recipes, ladies and gentlemen. If we scroll down, you will see that there is a brand new exotic called the Kunai. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm going to call it the Kunai. And in order to craft it, you need a Synergy, a Striker, and a Fury. If we scroll down a little bit more, you will see that there is a brand new mythic called the Imp. And in order to craft the Imp, you need the Fang, which you know the recipe for Fang changed. So you need Fang and the Kunai, which we just talked about. So yeah, Fang and Kunai, you can get a brand new mythic called the Imp. And last but not least, guys, there is a brand new Dream Knife called the Dark Commander. And in order to craft this, you need the Demon Heart, which just recently changed. You need the Imp, which we just talked about. And you need the brand new Beam Core. Whew, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is all of the changes in this update. It is absolutely insane. We really did not expect an update to come so soon. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is a brand new Assassin update. Anyway, guys, in this video, we are also going to be crafting the Kunai. Because why not? You know, we got to get a brand new knife. And this video is already pretty long as is, so I'm not going to talk too much about the Kunai. But we are going to craft it real quick. So let's scroll down. What knives are I need? Synergy, uh, Striker. Where is Striker? I have plenty of them, so I don't have to worry about that. And a Fury. So there we go, guys. We are going to craft a brand new exotic called the Kuna. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but uh, hopefully I am. Because um, this is kind of a weird knife to say. But yeah, let us craft this brand new exotic. Three, two, one, boom. There we go, guys. We just crafted the brand new Kunai Exotic. So let's equip this knife and let's try it out in battle. All right, guys. So here it is, the brand new Kunai Exotic that you can get by crafting a Synergy, a Striker, and a Fury. Now, not too much to say about the knife. You know, it's a little bit of a tiny dagger right here. It's just a little bit of a tiny, sharp knife. You can see there are some orange glows on it, which is kind of interesting. And we have a little bit of a handle here. Now, we've kind of seen this weapon before. Uh, we actually saw this on Prisman's Twitter a while ago. There's a picture with like five different knives on his Twitter. And this is one of them. Now, something that's interesting about this knife is there seems to be no effect on it. Which is usually not a big deal because, you know, there's a lot of exotics that don't have effects. But it almost kind of seems like there's supposed to be one. I don't know if it's a glitch, but like, here, let me go AFK so I can show you. So if you go to the decal, you can see that there's a little bit of an effect on it. You know, it's very minor. But you can see there's a little bit of an orange glow around the knife here. And um, you can see that this does not happen on the kunai whatsoever. You know, when you actually have it on. Even when you hold it in your hand, it doesn't seem like it has an effect whatsoever. But another thing, if you actually take this to a dark area, you will see that it does have an orange glow. You can see, you know, wherever I move around, you can see that there is a bit of a glow. And that usually happens with knives that have effects of their own. You know, if we equip, uh, let's say, magma, you can see that it does have a little bit of a glow around it. Uh, Dreamwalker, you can see it has a nice purple glow. Uh, Champion Axe 2, you can see it has a blue glow. Uh, Champion Axe 1, you can see there's a red glow, and so on and so forth. And with the Kunai, it doesn't have an effect of its own, but you do see that there is an orange glow around it, you know, like an effect would. So it kind of makes you wonder, is the Kunai supposed to have its own effect? Because, um, we currently don't see one. So, um, I don't know if there's going to be an update where the Kunai gets an effect, but right now we cannot see an effect on this new exotic. But it is an okay knife overall. It's kind of tiny, which, you know, most people don't really like tiny knives. But yeah, it is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the Archangel. I feel like, you know, this is kind of similar to the Archangel, you know, in terms of shape and structure. 
but yeah overall this is a decent knife it's probably not going to be too valuable because you know it really is just three exotics and i mean you do need to craft the striker with gilded lightning and volt but um yeah it's really not too hard to craft the kunai so it's probably not going to be that valuable by itself but of course it is going to be pretty useful when it comes to crafting imp and crafting the dark commander later down the line so yeah guys with that that is pretty much going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching this episode of roblox assassin once again guys there is an absolutely humongous update there is so much to it uh competitive mode is back the clan prizes have changed brand new map brand new crafting recipes and a lot of the previous crafting recipes have changed and rainbow seer is completely unobtainable and it is going to start being very very valuable also some previously craftable exotics were added to cases and some previously unboxable exotics are now only craftable so yeah guys be sure to check out this update it is absolutely insane if you haven't played assassin yet now is the time to do it there are so many new knives to get it is absolutely insane don't forget to like comment subscribe and those are the things that youtube people do and i'll see you guys in the next video stay purple